Choip, choip, choip. Choip, choip, choip. Well, this is the least creeped out I've ever been of insects. Welcome to the world of bugs. Quite a bit less insect devouring than I was expecting. Instead, we find a beautiful, common journey. Chitinous chill. Shelled serenity. Elegant exoskeletons. Inventive insect words. Straight up buggy brilliance. No worry, that's about the extent of my insect themed alliteration. Morphopolis is primarily a hidden object game. It does have movement mechanics like a point and click adventure game, and periodically you have to complete puzzles. But primarily and usually, you have to find and click on objects on the screen. So I'm making the call Hidden Object Game. I don't play many hidden object games, but I suspect this is a unique example of the genre. There's no detective narrative, no journey of an archaeologist, nothing overtly supernatural. You are a bug. That's trying to evolve, I guess? It's kind of hard to tell. Usually you end the level off by climbing into the dead body of a bigger, stronger insect to become and play as that bigger, stronger insect in the next level. So that you're equipped to deal with the new level's bigger scale. This game is yet another case of more atmosphere than story. In fact, no story, apart from them showing and not telling you that you are in metamorphosis. It is a superb atmosphere, mind you. Beautiful, calming music. Ideal for clicking things at your own pace. Although sometimes it has surprisingly confrontational music. Especially for a game with no danger, you play in an absolutely beautiful world. Visually is where this game shines. Hand drawn and ridiculously intricate, artsy and ridiculously detailed. It gives the feeling of a big world, even though each level you're only given a few screens to play on. And on rare occasions, the visuals do have a functional purpose. Usually, it's not that difficult to find what you're looking for, but sometimes due to sensory overload, or simply due to the fact that the object is camouflaged by its surroundings and background, it can be very difficult to find. Here's a taste. Something is left over to find here. Please take part in this Nickelodeon-esque intermission. Can you find it? So, on the whole, it's not the most difficult game, and that extends to the puzzles as well. Sure, they can give you a bit of a mental workout, but they're old standards. If you like playing point-and-click adventure games, maybe some puzzle games, or maybe enjoy puzzle books, there probably wouldn't be anything here that you haven't seen before. But the developers did use it as another opportunity to showcase some impressive visuals by transforming these old standards into beautiful bug-themed things. Especially this jigsaw puzzle. Nice unique puzzle piece shapes. The game isn't that long either, it only took me two hours to complete it. But the game is cheap on Steam. 36 Rand full price. But I have no recent recorded sale price. I looked for one during the summer sale of the year I originally reviewed this game in 2020 as well as the year after and this year. Nothing. I got this game quite some time ago for between 2 and 3 rand, I believe, during a sale on a cheaper full price. So taking all of this into account, you probably have to take the full price as the best it's gonna get. And unfortunately, that means this game's value for money is quite bad, at 18 rand per hour of gameplay. It's one of the most expensive games I have ever reviewed. But it does, however, run on the War Horse, at the very least. Perhaps obviously, without incident. But its size isn't ideal. It's fairly big for its length, at 1149 megabytes on the hard drive. Usually I'd say that's at the upper end of a good download, but for this length, not so much. 
you really have to assess whether or not it's worth it for you. But the game is stereotypically kid-friendly. As I've said, the bugs don't eat each other. The game has beautiful, intricate, hand-drawn visuals that sometimes has a functional camouflaging purpose. Also has great, calming atmosphere and music, even if the music is surprisingly confrontational. It just produces calm and has a nice, mild challenge. On the maybe side, there is no story, but the atmosphere carries it. Perhaps something is told through it, but I kind of doubt it. You're just going through metamorphosis. And on the con side, the puzzles are perhaps a bit too simplistic and unoriginal for some people. As I said, familiar. But they're represented in an uncommonly beautiful way. Ultimately, there really isn't much to criticize here quality-wise. It's small in scope, but executed beautifully. But it is small, short, and perhaps I can justify recommending it when it has such a low value for money. But if you have the money to spend, it's technically cheap, after all. If you want a weird, artsy option, it's unique and I don't regret playing it. And this is the second time I've completed it. I mean, even if it were bad, it doesn't really steal that much of your life. And if the game actually, for some reason, goes on an appropriate sale again, then I definitely recommend it. I think it might be quite an ideal game to introduce to non-gamers. Come on, play it. I'd end this part with more bug alliteration if I had some, so I'll just take the easy route out and make a cricket noise. How's it? Now for another odd take on the hidden object genre. It has a monochromatic milieu. And mouth music. Visually, it's stunning. Just black and white. Or white and black. Or sepia, depending on your preference. It's beautiful and goofy. Small levels that are just playgrounds. And massive levels that just inspire awe. And maybe defy logic a bit. What kind of factory has all these departments? The level design is quite varied. Seven uniquely themed chapters. And what do you do on these levels? You just find different characters and objects. They show you what to find and a clue and there you go. Happy hunting. During the earlier smaller levels, instead of trying to complete it immediately, you sort of just play around with all the objects. But believe you me, when you go to the bigger levels, it is a real challenge. Ah, if they only had this in pediatricians' waiting rooms. There's just so much terrain to cover. Because of that, you just scan for a lot of the time, missing vital things. It's not like it really has color distinction to help you out. And sometimes the distinctions between some objects and characters are quite minute. This genre usually stretches the word hidden to its limit. But this game's hiding in plain sight approach takes it to a new level. Again, there's no story. There are characters that go about their routines. Those are funny and cute, but other than that, this game is one gigantic, living, beautiful mess. It has another charm offensive. As you've no doubt already heard, every single sound effect in this game was made by someone's mouth. It's awesome and hilarious. <laughs> It just fits with the style. In fact, charm might be the meat of this game. And all of the looking around for different folks is just an excuse to absorb it. Not that the gameplay isn't fun and satisfying, it's just a very singular experience. And I found that if you play for extended periods of time it can be quite draining, especially when you just can't find it. So you really need these distractions. But when you're fresh and you hear that characteristic Bling. Bling. It's very satisfying. Some people might just play around with it, try and find every single noise. It took me 12 hours to complete the game and find every single object and character. And it is cheap on Steam. 99 Rand full price, 29 Rand 70 on sale. That's 2 Rand 48 per hour of gameplay, which is quite good. 
And if you want extra options, increased flexibility, you can get it on the Play Store for your cell phone if you have the Play Pass and on the App Store for 79 Rand 99. And it does run on the Warhorse without incident, I believe. And it does have a reasonable download size, very reasonable, as it only takes up 254 megabytes on the hard drive. And stereotypically, it is kid-friendly, especially if your child is the type of person to try and get all of the noises. For that kind of person, this game is just a giant playground. But there is an issue. One of the objects you can look for is a cactus, wearing a sombrero while leaning. And I was very tempted to ignore this. Maybe this was just a cactus leaning, wearing a sombrero. Sometimes cacti lean. And this was a desert level. Sombreros keep out sun quite nicely. But then I did some research and found out that this cactus used to be called Mexican cactus instead of sombrero cactus. So taking all this information into account, decide whether you would consider this to be kid friendly. For the most part it is. I don't think there's anything else objectionable in this game as far as I know. In all fairness I'm only completely current with the last two chapters that were released because I played the majority of this game back before then and knowledge of the older chapters is a touch incomplete but I did replay some of them to get a more accurate footage sample. I even noticed that one character that used to be there and could be considered offensive by some was completely replaced. So I'm not completely in the dark. But once again, please be aware I'm not completely sure there aren't other aspects that may influence the kid friendliness rating of this game. In my opinion, this game has a sort of perfection. It has extensive, impressive, intricate, hand-drawn visual brilliance. Very cute. It's unique, funny and quirky. There's a massive amount of things to click on and find. At least if you include non-objective objects. And it can be quite calming at times. It's lovely, it takes a puzzle book activity to new heights. On the maybe side, it has no story, other than the routine of the folks. The only con I can think of for this game is the fact that it's a very singular experience. And it can be frustrating and headache inducing when you're just not finding what you're looking for. If you're impatient, stay away from this game. And word of caution, this can be rather addictive. Choip, 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 choip.